What's up, YouTube? Today we're looking at a 54 in Desert Ironwood from DLT. Actually, my second from them, um, my other one has a easy open mod that I didn't do. As you can see, they do charge tax because of the state I live in, and uh, which is fine. 134 for this is a steal. I'm just showing that off because I feel like there needs to be a little bit of recognition that DLT does it for the love of the game, okay? They don't do it for any other reason. Except money. Um, I got the Desert Ironwood. I actually, I know people were like, oh my God, they were gone instantly. I couldn't, I couldn't even think of getting one. Um... I almost got the second one and I like did the long way of checking out to get this. Were they gone in underneath three minutes? Yes. I'm assuming there really weren't that many of them. Let me hit the lights. So this is why this is like a philosophy almost thing as far as value, how it interacts um, with me, I guess. Is this, I, okay, if you think of the Indian River Jack I used to have in Camel Bone, sold it, you know, now it would sell for much more, but such is life, that's how markets work, also how inflation works. But the reason I am not so crazy about some of the flavors that, J, or that GEC puts out, not that I'm against them, just not for me. Okay, so one, this doesn't have a goofy shield. I think the oak leaf is tastefully done. It's not too much. The grain on this is great. The chatoya, chatoyance on this is great. The action is great. It costs under $150, actually 134 if I didn't have tax. And so why are some things so expensive? And we start to run into the value for money. And I get it. If, if it's a, was it first or second coolness that, J, or that uh, nothing fancy was like the second kind of cool or it's just cool. Um, if the second cool is doing it for you, go for it. But I will say this, like they have the um, stockman that's like the, electrician's knife coming out um i just for oh it's coming for at most places for over 200 and at some point it's just like i don't for me that is not that's not that's not what's up and here's the idea from the seller's perspective Let's say you go to sell that. How much money can you even make? eBay takes 15%. That's $45 from a $300 sale. Are you going to make, you know, 50 bucks after you wait and wait? Are you going to go in the groups and have people mock you for marking it up? I guess if it's like... You know, if I really was into it, if I really thought it was cool, I might pick it up. But um, as things are kind of standing now, I just can't swing the electrician's knife. Not really because of finances, just because um, it is not something I'm interested in. Man, this piece is cool. So I bet DLT, but why would they not? Why, you know, I have no wish to be able to make money. Um, but it just, it kind of kills me that some things are marked up to like, like the Barlow, the granddaddy Barlow that was like 225 from SMKW. I have one. I saw them go for less in the groups. Um, 
but I mean, do I regret buying it? No, but it was one of those things where it's like, man, that is, that is a chunk of change for 1095 Barlow. It does, it had sentimental value. This channel started with Remington bullet knives, but which have surprisingly retained their value. But, uh, it's just not, I mean, at some point I have to question if I don't like it, you know, I'm not really interested in buying it to sell it. And I, you know, like selling it is, even if I was selling it would be kind of a pain. At some point you just got to pass. And I'm sure they'll still sell out. I guess like, you know, as time is going along, I'm, I'm my tastes, what I want in my collection, there's a little bit more refinement. So, I mean, that's to be expected, but it's, uh, yeah, I just can't, can't really do the, the big, big dollar knives if I'm not going to like them. I also am over the small knives from GEC. Um, not that there's anything wrong with them. I just have small knives. If they were, if they were killer small knives, that'd be another thing. All right, folks. Thanks for sticking with me to the end. That's about all she wrote for this one. I hope you folks have a great rest of your day. Bye now.